In this lesson, we're going to learn a little bit about slope, what it is, and what information it reveals to us about a linear function. Let's begin by identifying what slope is. Simply put, slope is a number that describes two things. First, slope describes the direction of a line. If you know the slope of a linear function, you will know whether that function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. The second thing that the slope tells us is the steepness of the graph of the function, or the steepness of the line. Let's take a look at each of these items separately. We'll start with the direction of the line. Slope indicates the direction of a line, meaning whether the line is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Here are some examples. Here we see a linear function, whose graph is a line, and we see that the graph is increasing. This graph has positive slope. So, if you know that a linear function has positive slope, you know that the graph of the line must be increasing. Here we have a graph of a linear function that is decreasing. The decreasing linear function has negative slope. So, if you have a function with negative slope, you know that the function is decreasing. Here we have the graph of a linear function that is constant. When the function is constant, it means that the graph has zero slope. And if you know that the graph has zero slope, you'll know that the function is constant. Let's apply this. Here we see five slopes that are given to you. For each one, determine whether the line or the graph of the linear function will be increasing, decreasing, or constant. Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. In exercise one, we have positive slope. A function with positive slope is increasing. In exercise two, we have negative slope. A function that has negative slope is decreasing. In exercise three, we have zero slope. A function with zero slope is constant. In exercise four, we have positive slope. A linear function with positive slope is increasing. In exercise 5, we have negative slope, and we know that a linear function with negative slope is decreasing. So now we know how we can read the slope to determine whether the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Let's talk about the other piece of information that the slope will tell us, namely the steepness of the line. As a general rule, the closer the slope is to zero, the less steep the line will be, and the further from zero the slope is, the more steep the line will be. Take a look at these examples. We start with a slope of one half. Watch as the slope gets further from zero. Notice what happens to the line. The line gets increasingly steep. The same is true when we have negative slopes. Here we have a slope of negative one half. Watch what happens as the slope gets further and further away from zero. The steepness increases. Now, let's take a look at a couple of exercises to reinforce this idea, remembering that the further the number is from zero, the steeper the line will be. In this exercise, we have two pairs in each problem, choice A and choice B. Each choice represents the slope of a line. You have to determine whether the line with the slope in A or the line with the slope in B will be steeper. Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. In order to determine which graph will be steeper, we're looking for the slope that is the furthest from zero. In exercise six, we have the choice of four or two. Four is further from zero so the line with the slope of four will be steeper than the line with the slope of two. In exercise seven, we're comparing the slope negative three with the slope negative six. Negative six is further from zero, so the line with the slope of negative six will be steeper than the line with the slope of negative three. In exercise eight, we're comparing the slope of one half with three fourths. One half is really two fourths, so we're comparing two fourths and three fourths. Three fourths is further from zero, therefore that line will be steeper than the line with the slope of one half. 
In exercise 9, we're comparing the slope of negative 2 thirds and negative 1 third. The number negative 2 thirds is further from 0, so the line with the slope of negative 2 thirds will be steeper than the line with the slope of negative 1 third. And now you know a little bit more about slope and what it tells you about a linear function. You'll learn more about slope in the upcoming lessons. Remember, you can learn more about slope and linear functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.